Hello there. Thanks for joining me again. Genesis chapter 13 verse 8 says, There should be no arguing between you and me because we are brothers. Now conflict can bring out the worst or the best in us. But conflict itself isn't the problem. It's how we handle it that can make the difference. Abram's priority was the family. Lot's was getting rich. Abram's concern was harmony. Lot's was self-preservation. Abram was driven by his faith. Lot by his greed. But look how the story turned out. Firstly, what should have happened? Well, Lot should have had more respect for Abram, the leader and the head of the household. There are times when we need to point out that a leader is wrong. Just because they're in authority doesn't make them automatically right. But we also need to discern when we should um, respect a leader's experience and guidance, even if it isn't exactly what we want. Secondly, what could have happened? Well, Abram could have pulled rank and enforced his will, but he didn't. He could have been concerned about winning, but he wasn't. He could have called in his debts with Lot, but he refused to. Finally, what did happen? Well, first, Abram elevated relationship above personal advantage. Second, he gave up what was due to him to keep peace in the family. And third, he turned the other cheek and deferred to Lot. The stronger made allowance for the weaker. The mature showed mercy towards the immature. Did it make Abram the weaker man and Lot the stronger? Did Abram lose and Lot win? No, because God had the last word and kept his promise made in Genesis chapter 13 verses 14 to 15 where he said, Look, northward and southward and eastward and westward, all the land which you see, I will give it to you and to your descendants forever. You see, doing things God's way is the best road to peace. And so if you're involved in a disagreement with someone who holds a position of authority, ask God to help you to discern if this is an occasion for respecting their leadership, even if you don't agree with them, or if he's telling you to stand firm and refuse to back down. And so let's pray this week's special prayer. Heavenly Father, your son battled with the powers of darkness and grew closer to you in the desert. Help us to use these days to grow in wisdom and prayer, that we may witness to your saving love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's finish by sharing the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.